Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you guys about developer burnout and taking time off from coding. So before I get started, um, for those of you following my Django series and along with my courses, I am gonna be taking a week off or actually the rest of December and taking my wife here out to New York. So I won't be releasing many videos, uh, I'll be taking a break, but I might have some here and there, more vlog style and maybe a few tutorials. So um, that's all, it's good for this. <laughs> I just want to introduce her and uh, give myself an excuse to check out from work for a little bit, but yeah. that's it. Okay, so. So to give you a quick backstory before I get started, I took on a position where I was developing a system for a lab about two years ago. And this was basically just a laboratory management system where people would send in uh, fuel samples into the lab and the lab would test it. And then that data would be stored in my software. So the customers had an interface to log in and see sample test results in the system. So because I was the sole developer to this system, I was working probably 16, 18 hour days on a regular basis and this was including weekends and that kind of work for, for two years, um, about a year into, and a half of it was, was, I realized it was killing me. It was a lot of work and I was done at this point. I started noticing my physical health deteriorating. Um, my relationships were suffering with my wife, with friends and family. I never made time to go out and, and hang out with anybody and um, started noticing that I lost the passion that I had for programming. And I was, when I started, I was sold on this. I thought this was the coolest thing in the world. And, and I realized that, and I was talking to my wife, that um, I started dreading waking up every morning and doing this. And I always thought I can work hours and hours and not even have a problem, but that eventual burnout did get to me. And this is gonna to happen to everybody that works these kind of hours. And I, I never made time to do things like study my own, um, my own little interests, build my own side projects, and never made time for myself. And this is when I originally got into it. That's what I would do. I just loved researching things and building little side projects. So about two years into this, and this is actually about a month ago or two months ago, um, I had a, we reached an agreement with my boss that I would sell my software to him and this has led to me just taking a, about a six month hiatus right now that I'm on um, and just getting away from things and taking a break. I, it, it broke me, I, I, I was done and just to kind of save myself from losing that passion, I'm taking a break now and doing things like this, vlogging, um, teaching, uh, doing tutorial videos and so on. So I'm reigniting my passion for this and getting back to why I even got into this in the first place. So to, to save myself from burning out right now, and this was kind of, I started this about a year into that process because I would work hours and hours without getting up from the computer. I started, I started taking little walks. I started forcing myself to get physically active and I'm a normally physically active person, but I can go, I would go weeks and completely forget to even take a walk. And I would start doing things like taking walks. I would take little breaks, force myself to end at a certain hour and just step away from the computer and get away from screen time. So um, just getting some physical exercise was, was one way I would cope with this. And, and what this would do is actually, I realized that when I would step away, I would actually solve my problems faster. Ironically, when I stepped away from the computer, I would actually notice that I would work on a problem for about two hours and I would just be working on this bug and I can't solve it. I step away, I go play some basketball, I'll just take some time and uh, go play basketball with a, with a friend or do something like that. And not 20 minutes, maybe on a car ride to wherever I was going, you know, solved. I, I got the idea, I have to get back to it and I would force myself to relax and I would save that problem. But um, stepping away actually allowed my brain to, in a sense, receive information because staring at a computer had me locked in and ironically taking time off actually helped solve, solve these problems for me. So ever since I started actually doing this kind of stuff for myself and leaving that position, um, I haven't worked there for two months now. I've not my, noticed myself get back into why I originally got into this and that passion has reignited. I started picking up different frameworks even though I'm not working within these and I'm not building out projects, I do plan to teach on them, but um, that curiosity has sparked back into it. And I notice a lot of developers are just simply curious. We're, we just wanna figure things out and that uh, that's what I lost, so I'm getting that back into it. And as far as physical health, I'm I'm sleeping better. I notice myself, I'm just breathing better, and and just feel a lot better about myself. And and taking this time off, so it really hasn't taken me that long to get back into. It's only been two months, and I know some people take you know six months to a year long hiatus from this kind of stuff, but uh, it wasn't that long before I got into it. So, or since I've stepped away from it, but 
if you're somebody that uh, that's kind of going through this or has solved this kind of problem, has went through this, I would actually love to hear your story. If you can leave it down in the comment section, um, I'd love to hear what you've done with it, or maybe even give you advice if you're currently going for this and or, or dealing going through this. Um, so I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. I just wanted to share my story and also give uh, anybody following along with my series uh, just a quick update. I feel like I owe you guys that because you guys have been supporting my channel. I've started, you know, started getting active on this channel about two months ago and um, growing very fast, getting awesome feedback. So I'm very thankful and didn't want to leave you guys hanging with that. So thank you.